Uh, Connor, thanks very much for talking to Pax TV. Connor, obviously this week uh, the uh, news about yourself uh, essentially uh, well qualifying to play for the uh, yep. German national team. Uh, proud achievement for yourself and uh, really look forward to it. I'm presuming. Yeah, massive. Um, never obviously thought at 19 years old I'd be getting called up for first team international games. Massive, massive achievement. Couldn't be prouder. You know, obviously it's a credit to everybody here that's helped me through. Obviously without a reserves grade, I won't be playing rugby still probably. So it's all thanks to these guys that's really put me through and, and being able to have such a good achievement on me. Mm. And it's been sort of a, quite a feel good story, hasn't it, in terms of you know the Fax Trust and yeah, the supporters yeah. and this that and the other, sort of helping you fund, fund that trip and you know, yeah. a massive life experience. I'm yeah, guessing so that's without them, I wouldn't obviously, I wouldn't be here in first place, you know, I wouldn't be playing for Halifax. But then also, the how well they've took to it, you know, there's, there's random people that don't know who I am giving me hundreds of pounds to be able to fund myself to go. Obviously we've got to pay for his own flights and what have you, so it's um, it's really good for me obviously to be able to get that off the people around here. It just shows how how heartwarming it really is all really, mm. big community. And talk to us how you qualify to play for the German national team obviously. Yeah, so um, my granddad was in the war over in Germany, he was a British soldier. Uh, at the time he got called to go through. Uh, my grandma were actually pregnant with my dad yeah. So she's gone with him, and then my dad's been born in a, in a war hospital over there. Then lived the first couple of years of his life there, really getting a birth certificate through Germany, and then that's obviously transcended through for me to being able to play. Wow, brilliant! <laughs> um, and has it sort of come as a shock, you know, in, yeah, in, yeah. in a sense to you know to be playing, you know, like you said, national first team rugby league at such a young age? Yeah, uh, obviously at 19, you don't really expect to be getting first team calls up. Um, <laughs> I, I just put it down on my contract, you know, you, you've got that option of who you could play for eligibility wise. I never thought out anything of it. Um, and then to get that email through saying, can you play for these games? It uh, just means the world really, obviously it's a lifelong achievement. And not many people can say they've done it, especially at this age. Mm. And talk to us about who you may be coming up against and, and when that is and that's happening. So these two games that's coming up, playing the Czech Republic in Germany, and then Norway over in Norway. Um, the top team out of us three will then get put into a final game against Spain, Russia or Serbia. Uh, that then will put us into another group where we've got to, out of six teams, we've got to go through top four to then get into the 2021 World Cup. That group will feature the likes of Italy, uh, France, Spain, uh, not Spain, <laughs> France, Ireland, Scotland and yeah. Wales as well. So big competition, really big uh, test and I'm looking forward to it. Mm. And it must be such, you know, quite a, uh, a pride thing in terms of you know playing for your country and, and, and that type of thing you must be just, just really looking forward to it. Yeah really year. anxious but really looking forward to it as well obviously it's a massive achievement massive opportunity for me and I just can't wait can't wait to get out there. Talk to us a little bit about the reserves this year obviously it's quite a much discussed issue obviously yeah. how have you how have you found playing for the reserves this year? It's been great for me um, 18 years old uh, when you go in through your academy it's either go into first team environment straight away or get dropped and left behind. Um, this reserves set up obviously gives you that middle ground to set yourself up really. Gives you the opportunity to play with first team players that may be coming back from injury, coming back from suspensions and stuff like that. It's really it's a big learning curve, you know. Some games it could be men against boys but you know I feel like us as a team we've really dealt well with it this year. You know we've been putting good games together against like to Bradford with a lot of first team players in them. Wakefield that's played a lot of Super League quality with us and with Elder's own we looked like we're just making numbers up you know we've given them a really good game and it's, it's a credit to really to coaches and fans getting behind us. Connor thanks very much for your time really you. appreciate it uh, good luck with the results the rest of the season and of course uh, playing for Germany. Thank you.